little technical difficulties, but we're back now. <laughs> I was just asking Daryl to plug himself. Plug. And how you could Google him. Because I'm Googleable. Let me tell you how my plug walk. All right. Uh, I'm assuming that's one of those rap songs. <laughs> one of those jigulators. One of those jigulators. But anyway, like I was saying, Lil Daryl the Comedian, L-I-L-D-A-R-R-E-L. -L Two R's, one E, one L, no Y. No comedian, no spaces. That's why. A little rap in there too. A little rap Oh. Uh, that's my Snapchat. Mm -hmm. That's my Facebook. That's my IG. That's my YouTube. See the real one. Yeah. You touching me? <laughs> me no too. <laughs> Follow me on any one of the social medias. I post all my shows. I post the whole calendar. I get a whole lineup. If you see this, when I'm, I got stuff tonight. Uh, all the way, what it is. Uh, we got what three, four, five nights of Christmas left before Christmas. Four nights of Christmas, my two little came to me. Yeah, or yeah, I just mix yeah, my, yeah. Like a couple Christmas songs together. I, you just did something. Right. But, but he's a creative, so right, let him have it. Say on Sometimes you just got to take leaf off and let the little fella fly. So <laughs> on the fourth night of Christmas, don't die real gift to y'all. Uh, uh, one show with Taylor's. One show off Attics, one show off Southside in 1960. Two birthdays, one wedding, and a funeral at the repast. Well, that just happened. <laughs> And there we went. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I can ask you really, really quick. Quickly, there. please. Very quick. Who uh, are some of your influences? Oh, man. My influences. First off, uh, locally, a lot of local talent. Oh. I'm going to have to say locally because uh -huh. I wasn't one of them comedy connoisseurs coming up. Like, I love comedy. I love entertainment all together. But I wasn't studying the craft. But when I got into the craft, by that time, it was a lot of LGs out here from the Terry Grossman's to the Alisa D's to the Dave Lawson's to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the Eddie B's to the Blames to the Man, and then now the nephew Tommy's who I'm on tour with currently <laughs> right now. What's the name of that tour? Tommy for uh nephew Tommy and uh and friends. Okay, cool. Uh follow him with tour dates most likely. I'm gonna be opening up for him, so y'all be on the lookout for that. We did about nine shows this 2018, so you can only imagine what 2019 gonna. Bring He's a little it. aggressive. He's right. gonna attack the new year. <laughs> you know what I'm Rock. saying? Rock. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you got the whole zoo over right. here. Got you. you know what I'm <laughs> Who in the hell let the game? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did. Oh, you see what I did there? <laughs> so you had to have several local talent, you know, influences right, and right, uh, any right. anything. Did you mirror, try to mirror? Uh, well, my top three of uh, all time, as far as not who, because I'm original. Um, all mine is just fresh off my dome, my, off my life experience, off people I know close to, what they going through. I just talk about it. It could be something as big as being broke, or it could be something as small as not having rice at the cookout. Um, who the hell made the potato salad? <laughs> If it ain't your grandmama, don't eat it. Uh, oh. Right. So That's why the yeah. grandmother club. Right. That's why I'm the grandmama's favorite comedian. I like how you threw that in there. I don't be saying it for nothing on top of that. Shameless. Uh, so, 
Yeah, man. I'm look. We out here. Um, look me up. Well, if one more. This is the last question because we gotta wrap it up. You got shit to do. Stop. Sorry. (laughs) I noticed you have like this um, southern drawl. Real. With, with is that your voice or is that like a, a part of your act or because you've been pretty consistent with that since you've gotten here. Right, so I get that a lot. I never would have thought people would walk up to me after the show and say, "Oh, you really talk like that." They really think I go up there and you know impersonate a voice. Oh, it's like you're acting. Right. <laughs> One of your many backgrounds. Right. I see what you did there. Yeah. Um, but nah, this is, it works for me. Especially when I go to shows on the east coast, up north, uh, a little further, on that down south, like that Florida area. Gotcha, gotcha. They like, man, you really talk like that. Yeah. And I would be like, yeah, but as far as on stage, sometimes they laugh at how I say something more than what I say. And I mean, you don't really care how you getting the laughs when you up there, as long as they laughing right. and what you doing that you intended on them to laugh at. Take it how you get it. I am. I am. Get it how you live. Get it how you live. <laughs> get it how you live. Get it how you live. <laughs> get it how you live. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to have Daryl back on the show one of these days because he's, he's just so deep. It's so much to talk about. We just don't have enough time. Not enough time. So here on Live with Ember Skies... I interviewed Lil Daryl, the comedian. Not so Lil. Uh, okay. AKA Dope D, AKA Dope Nizzy, AKA your grandmama's favorite comedian, AKA light skin, new age comedian instead of musician, uh, who my grandmama say I look like, Lionel Rich. I can see it. All right, guys, more with Live with Ember Skies coming up soon. Be on the lookout. You can follow me on Ember Skies, E-M-B-E-R-S-K-E-Y-E-Z, on everything. <laughs> Google me. <laughs> she Google. I'm Googleable. <laughs> I'm Googleable. She Google. I'm Googleable. Give the people what they want to see.